G'day viewers, we are here in a little GP9 Zebra Striped from the Santa Fe Classic Pack 01 and we're about to go backwards but let's do some stuff don't need headlights, don't really need those I'll put on my cab light because it's a bit dark in here alright, let's release our brakes I am using rail driver and the, these locomotives use the Mike Rennie aka Smokebox bragging script. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have to say they're just not that friendly with rail driver really. Never have been, but that's okay. Now let's just stop accelerating. And our points look like they're set fine. We're going a bit quick, so let's just use some independent brake to slow us down. The GP9s sound nice, they look kind of nice. The uh, cab inside's a little simple, a bit default, but it's okay. Works. You can do some cool stuff. You can uh, open the windows, for example. We're just heading back here to pick up a couple of box cars. Now, interestingly, the scenario says these are a GP7, but it quite clearly says GP9. Hmm, whatever. We're on the, uh, what route are we on? Mattis Pass, or whatever it is. And we're running the Santa Fe Classic Pack 01, a couple of locomotives from that. And we're going to do a bit of switching. Putting together some trains. Slowing us down a bit, we don't want to hit these too hard, that'll do. Give them a nice gentle tap. Most of the time I'll just use the independent brake while we're shunting. It's, it's a fairly normal thing to do. Now the brakes on this do apply a little slowly. Alright, we're going to pull ahead to Trinidad, Trinidad sorry, Yard Track 4 West. Okay, just go ahead then. To forwards, get these brakes off. The GP9s do take a little while to spool up, which is nice. Now let's just check our points on the map. Just being mindful we don't want that to get too quick, so we're going to head up here a bit. Alright, that'll do us fine. Got a little road crossing coming up here. It's an interesting crossing, actually, because it... Uh, one set of lights, and the road crosses the entire yard. I'm not sure how prototypical that would actually be, but... Hmm. Now we're in the 1950s, so we don't need any of this uh, 14L stuff. Just let them know we're coming. by the independent which will take a while to do anything and then we're going to go back and head into that siding number five down there glad I got the mic turned off for that one 
little bit further to go. It may stop short. I may have to, yeah. Let's see if it recognises it. Let's give it a little bit of juice. Let me know in the comments if you prefer switching or long mainline runs. I have to admit, I like a bit of switching personally. I particularly like the uh, free run switching because I like a bit of a puzzle. But the guided scenarios are fine too. Now you've probably seen my earlier video where we had a look at the U28GC and the F3. Uh, the GP9 doesn't seem to suffer the issues that the F3 has, which is quite pleasant. Bloody trees. Alright, let's chuck the brakes on. We've already set the points, so back in the cab. And have we stopped? Nearly, nearly, nearly. There we go. Back into reverse. And we'll just wait for that red timer to go off, but we can chuck the brakes off. We are on more or less flat stuff here. Alright, back into siding 5, which is what we set for before. Our happy little conductor who's uh, not actually there, just letting us know what's going on there. Now let's slow this down because we are running into a dead end siding and there's not a lot between those gondolas and the end of the line. Just pop the independent brake on and let's see if we can get us down to about a bit less than five mile an hour. We have to go slowly through here to annoy the motorists as much as possible because that's our job. And just whiz up here because we're coming up to pick up these three gondolas for steel pipes. Good, albeit slightly boring speed going on. I am running my uh, head tracker software, but for uh whatever reason it uh, isn't a huge fan of the game today probably getting a little bit too slow now but we'll just leave that run for a moment I just realised you can't see a lot of the HUD because of my head uh, let's put my head on top of the HUD there we go that's fine Give it a bit more oomph. The old GP9s belch out a suitable 1950s level of soot. It's always weird when you hear the physics apply to the uh, other cars as you approach them. I hope this isn't too fast. We to try to push them off the end there. Ooh, that's going to be close. I think it's going to be all right. 
Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to go via Trinidad East Yard lead, proceed and stop at the north approach. So that means we're going to cross the main line. Let's jump back in the cab. And get this brake off. And let's give it three notches because we've got a bit on the go now. Now let's just check our points. Make sure we're okay. That one's good. And then we go into the automatic stuff. So we are going to head up here now. We will have to keep an eye on our signals. Now this is set in the 1950s, so we don't have to go long, long, short, long. And while the locomotive's got a bonger, it's even a relatively present bonger, we uh, don't think we'll keep this running though, because while it's not a bad one, they're annoying anyway. Now, what's our signal showing up there? We have the yellow. All good. Sounds like one of our cars has got a little bit of a flat. Just give it a bit of power, we don't want to tie up the main line too long. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure this curve just after the points up here is actually 15 mile an hour. Slow it down a little bit. Just after speeding it up. Oh, maybe it's not. Ah, it's still 20. It's all good. Little bridge there. Yeah, just while that's happening, where are we going to go now? So we're stopping up here. And we go via the east south yard lead, and then we go to track nine. And we're getting three hoppers. All right, I think I know where that is. I may actually have to put the real train brakes on here or this isn't going to stop in time, I think. Ah, uh, no, nah, should be right. Alright, let's just pop out and have a look at the map. So we are going to go back that way and we're going into Yard Track 9, which is over here. So we're going to flip those points over. And once we actually come to a stop, which I will actually apply, if you let me, and I will apply properly the train brake. Because the Indy's not stopping us. Ah, it's got it. Very good. Alright, let's chuck the train brake off. Let that uh, relax. Now it goes to the service. Yeah, the rail driver and the Mike Rennie, aka Smokebox braking scripts not rail driver friendly very much. Sometimes they're quite good, sometimes they're quite crap. Alright, brakes off. Now let's just drop our reverser and let them know we're coming. A couple of notches and we should have a quick gander down the back. We did clear that and that looks that looks like a yellow on that signal, so we're all good down there. That's why I thought it was 15. This track's 15. Okay. 
very good. There's an awful lot of sleeper cabs running around with no trailers on. What Americans call that bobtailing, I think. Something like that. Keep following this line around to the right. What are you doing, breaking script? And we'll be going to the extreme right to pick up those hoppers that are down there. Yeah, you can uh, stop your overactivity, breaking script. That would be nice. If you're wondering what I mean by breaking scripts, the trains have the capability to be scripted in a uh, rather strange language called Lua, L-U-A, which is uh, quite common for games programming. It's just a fairly simple event-based scripting language. Things happen, it does things. independent brake and start slowing this lot down. It's only five cars but it is kind of heavy. And these hoppers, pretty much like the last lot, you don't want to hit them too hard because you just knock them off the end. Feels like it's going to slow down in time though. I think we'll be all good. under the heat of it five or less should be fine. Yeah, this is pretty much spot on. A nice gentle kiss that moves the whole consist. Alright, so we're going back where we were. We didn't push him off the end, so that's all good. Alright, into forwards. Go straight into notch three this time because we've got a little bit more to the consist. And they're mostly empty, a bit of coal in the bottom by the looks. Let's just check that signal, it's yellow, that's fine. Let's get this powered off. You don't think train drivers actually watch where they're going, do you? I uh, don't have to, the track takes care of that. What are we going to do next? Looks like we are going to cross back over the main again. back into a different part of the yard. So we're going to track two, which means we'll be coming down this way somewhere. There's track two. So let's may as well start setting up for that while we wait. I think that one's okay. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna run down to the end of that by the looks. Let's use the train brakes. Hmm, I need to That's not very helpful to me, really. Hard for me to tell what the train's doing when it fails off the locomotive. That's okay, we are stopping. 
in just the right spot as it happens. Oh good, let's get ready to go back. Can't actually do it yet, but I can release the train brake because I've got the Independi still applied. It's like how I crossed Independent and Indy there and made Independi. Oh, bouncy truck. Alright, back we go. Now I think we're set up right. Three. Now I do want to pop down the back because I want to know what that signal is. It's yellow, so that's fine. get too carried away because we've got a 15 mile an hour section coming up. It's interesting how the, the uh, truck models are so stiff. Right, what's where we're going? Why not? reality our uh, man on the ground would be riding that last car letting us know with, in this era with hand signals what was going on hope these points are set I look a little indeterminate to me very good the uh, second from the right there is where we'll end up. We're going to go quite a long way down. Kind of guessing, but I think down near the road crossing down there. So we'll honk for that in case we bugger it up. And end up running through it. Let's just jam on the Indy. having the desired effect. Probably going to stop us a little quickly. Hmm. Let's let it sit. Let's just see how it goes. It's feeling pretty good actually. I think we'll be close. Nothing more disappointing for our motorist friends to be held up at a flashing light, only to discover the train's not actually going through it. Don't know if that'll be enough or not. Should be okay, I think. Let's just pop up here and we can uh, uncouple this one. Uncoupled, that's good. Pull forward and stop at CS, CNS North Lead, so that's across the other side again, with the rear clear to reverse to Trinidad Track 4 North. Okay. Back into forwards. Get some amps coming, because we don't want to roll back and recouple. Maybe it won't amp up until I close. Yep, appears to be the case. It's cleverer than I thought. All right, now where are we going? Going up this line, and we're going to stop at the CNS North Lead. Oh no, we're not going all the way across. We're going to go to here. 
All right, we better watch some signals here, I guess. Because there is one just up here, so let's just get stopped for that, I hope. Uh -huh. Let's, uh, oh shit. Let's try and contact our signaler. We're going to get through here. Yes, just. <laughs> that was close. Going just a little quick then. Recovered it. Probably had a. Wah. But. Oh, you know why? Because those bloody points aren't set. Those ones. Well, you know what? We're going to finish it anyway. So I should have set these points here because the stopping point's actually here. That's okay. All right, now what are we doing? Let's go look. So we're going to couple to the air slide hoppers. There's five of those somewhere. Where are they? In track four north. That's track five, so that must be those five cars there. Very good. Let's just flip that. And that looks like we are set for that siding now. Once I've passed this switch here, I'll um, set that to just in case the next move needs it. I don't want to get going too quick and I'm already up to 10 mile an hour, so let's just get the independent brake on. Let's just try and flip this while we're here. Can I get on it? Yes, I can't. Come on. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all good. I don't care anymore. I'm not going through it. look like five hoppers so go in the right direction for bonkage. Bonk. Alright. Pull forward to the north lead with the rear clear. Okay, so we're going back to that same place. So let's get back in the cab. Brakes off. Forward. Honk. Give it a couple. And those are red, so let's just can't contact my signal. I have a horrible suspicion that because we failed a task, see how this one's got a cross on it, that it's not gonna let me play anymore. Oh no, there we go. Call the signalman. Call the signalman, come on. Uh, he's not listening. Yeah, that might mean that we'll just get away with running through the red too. Let's just give that a crack. Keep pressing the button though. Come on, come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Is it going to spad me? That's the question. No, there we go. Just spam the signalman and it's all good. Now, we want to stop right about here, actually. So let's do some train breakage. And it won't let me bloody break the bloody rail driver. Now, let's just let that sit. Good -o. I said we wanted to rear clear anyway, which we're not, I don't think. I do not think we are. No, we're not. We're going to have to go forward some more, I think. Where does it want us to go now? Couple to the... in track 3 north. Well, that'd be that one. There's not a chance we're far enough ahead for that. Alright, so we're not, not doing that. We're going to pull ahead. I have to get clear of that switch stand there. Yeah, I know, you want me to reverse, but we're not going to do that. Because we just aren't. So get over it. Why aren't we ribbing up? What's going on in this cab? Ah, finally we're getting some hits. Okay. I mentioned these brake braking scripts aren't very rail drive friendly. Let's just get the juice off. We don't want to get too fast. And let's put the independent brake on because we've only got to get past this switch stand here. So we're pretty much there. I don't know if I'll be able to switch this while we're moving. Alright, that one's done. Now I've got to do this one. Let's just check the map and just make sure. Alright, we are now coming back into Yard Track 3 North, which is what we want. Good. First, brakes off. And back we go. And we've not got far to go, so that's enough speed. Shadow action happening there. play the hurry up and wait game now sooner or later we'll get there and go bonk what are we doing after the bonk let's work that out so we're going back to north approach and then we're going back to track four east which is it's that one that we dropped the other cars off on I think I think I think let's have a look at the map while we're waiting for those to go bonk. Uh, actually, no, we're going to track North Approach and then track 4 East. It's 4 North, 5 North, 4 East, over there. Okay. So we're not touching those cars we dropped off before. That'll do. Bonk. Very good. Alright. Now we've got to brave that signal again. You know what I think I might do this time? I'm going to pull up to the signal. Oh, shit. It's a good thing there's nothing behind us. Bugger. Alright, this time for sure, are we? 
I'll just move forward towards that signal. Because I can't contact him at the moment, but I'll just pull forwards and then I'll stop. In fact, we want to go all the way over this time. So let's just apply the brake so this doesn't run away from me. Because we have to go all the way over the top, so we actually want to north approach. So I've just changed those points so that we go that way now. And do we have... not have a signal. Can we have one? We can have one. Great. Thanks, Mr. Signalman. Because we're going all the way over the other side. I guess in the 1950s you can safely say, Mr. Signalman. We can end up down there somewhere. Check what happens on the map now. So we want to go back to track 4 east, which is here. Good oh, so that's set, and the others are automatic. Alright. Just wait until we're allowed to do it. We can go into reverse now though while we wait. Dump the brakes. Because we are allowed to go. signal but the game's still running so it must have been all right no deal off and at some point the road engines will be along to come and grab it and take it away.
in case we mess it up and go through that crossing. see if I need to release. I think I might have to. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Might be alright. Might just make it. Uh, you know, I reckon we'll get away with this. What if we don't, he says. Well, tough titties. Done, couple. We're going to go to track three east. Alright. Now, will we fit between those points and that signal? We might. Let's just approach nice and slow. I'm not sure if we'll just fit or just not fit. crawl up there and see. We'll get as close as we can without running it. And if we don't fit, then we'll have to ask for clearance. brakes on now though so we don't accidentally run through the bloody thing. Oh no 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 it doesn't get much closer than that. But I hope we don't go forwards. That's all good. This is the last little bit of our run here. We'll just come down here and stop and that'll be all of it. Now of course we won't succeed the whole scenario because, well, I buggered up a task because it didn't set the points right way. That's okay. That was quite clearly my own fault. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the GP9. And they uh, actually are quite cool. They work nicely. Decent horn, decent bell. Brakes could be quicker, but you know, it is old. Nearly there. Did we block that road with the other train? No, we didn't. Not quite. This must be down near the road crossing, I think. That makes sense, because we can park up there and walk back to the shed to have a coffee. Seems like a grand plan to me. worrying about going right to the end given the scenario is going to fail anyway. But you know, sometimes you just gotta, don't you? What's that? You want to hear it notch 8? Of course you do.
I wonder how well the emergency stop works. Probably quite fine. Now it's not even going to make it. No, that'll do. All right then. So this has been the little GP9 Zebras. Which the scenario says are GP7s, but that's okay. On the AT and SF or Santa Fe Classic Pack 01 from High Iron Simulations. I'm train simulator driver. Yes, I know this run was not entirely successful, and that's okay. But, you know, chuck your comments down below. Chuck a bit of a like on. Chuck a subscribe if you like what you see. See you later.